Okay, uh, last week we have this policy that I want you guys to answer five questions. Uh, many of us already turned in, but some of us hasn't uh, turned in the uh, uh, five questions, answer to five, pick up, uh, pick five questions to answer. And some of us have uh, hasn't answered that yet. So please uh, spend a little time, look at the policy, and uh, email me uh, the uh, assignment. That was the assignment. <clears throat> uh, today, we're going to take a look of uh, uh, resume, okay, resume. Uh, this is uh, uh, a document you use to get a job, get a job. Our goal is to help you to develop a career. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, resume is the uh, very important document for you to open the door in the field of your career, okay? And uh, we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna share with you a document here. Share screen. Resume. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the resume. You probably think of, well, I just came to college. This is my first semester and uh, we're already uh, talking about a resume. You'll never know, things might come earlier, faster than you would have expected. Uh, many of our students got a job like uh, second year sophomore and um, uh, we had a lot of uh, students intern with our tech and the manager over there uh, used to be a graduate of our program, but he kind of uh, uh, moved to uh, North Carolina to uh, uh, exchange to another plant, our tech plant. They have a lot of plants in uh, all over the United States. <clears throat> and uh, he came to the university to recruit. He said, well, for someone who took a CAD, took a statics, we would think someone is ready to start an internship because he or she would have the concepts and uh, would understand the terminologies that we use in work. So you can see things might happen earlier than you expect. And we would like to help you to develop this career. So this resume is really important. I gave you another example. I, I used to have a student, I had a student that he is really, uh, what do we call it, uh, naughty. He's really naughty. He is a, a disruptor or something like that. And, uh, you know, the first year he graduated, he got a job with Black & Veatch in Kansas City. Black & Veatch is a big company, the big company. They're doing a lot of uh, power plant uh, construction power plant, the build power plants, nuclear power plants and the coal fire power plants, all kinds of power plants to build, a lot of government contracts. And uh, so he got this job with Black and Rich. And the next year he came back to recruit students, all dressed up, suit and tie, 
I was talking to him. I said, wow, you changed. He said, sure, definitely. You got a job, you got married, you bought a house in Kansas City all in one year. So you, you'll never know, things happen very fast. Uh, so that's a good field to uh, get into. Okay, so we'll take a look up for uh, resume. Uh, the resume, um, that's a document that uh, we have a career development center. Uh, let me see it here. I will. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're talking about a resume. And uh, you, if you if you uh, have an turn in last week assignment, please uh, spend some time answer those questions, policy questions. In fact, this year, this semester, <laughs> it's especially important for you to understand the policy because I, uh, because of the uh, pandemic, I- But I never <laughs> understand what the fuck this thing is talking about. <laughs> uh, okay, somehow. We can all mute it. Uh, if you have a question, please turn on your mic and ask, okay? If you have a question, uh, please turn on your mic and ask. But anyway, uh, to understand the policy, the Missouri Western policy is really important, especially this semester because of the, because of the uh, pandemic, especially important. I noticed some students struggling in my class, struggling in my class because um, for whatever reason, if you don't come to class, sometimes it's hard to keep up with the progress of the class in the classroom. It is hard, especially if you missed several classes, you try to catch up um, no matter who you are whether you're a genius or uh, not a genius, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for everyone. So it's very important for you to understand the policy, especially if you think that those policies are concerned with your situation. So please spend some time and answer, pick five questions that are most interest to you and answer those five questions and email me. Okay, we're talking about a resume here. A resume is a document for you, help you to find a job, uh, whether it's an intern, an internship or a permanent job. Uh, it's just a, just a really good field to get into. And even now, um, we still have a very good perspective uh, for employment, for employment. I received a couple of emails about uh, uh, the job openings. Normally, that's what people say, the experts in uh, human resources, they say the easiest way to get a job is to reply to those on-campus recruiting, on-campus recruiting. That's the easiest way to get a job. And they came to they come to campus, the intention is very clear. They want to get our students. So if you have a resume, you put it out, very good chance you will get an opportunity with those companies. Okay, so don't, don't miss those, com those opportunities. And after you get, go out of campus and then you try to find a job, Networking, they say, is the most effective way to uh, get a job after you uh, go out and leave campus. 
On campus, the most effective way to get a job is on campus recruiting. Those events, you go there and uh, you answer those calls, you will get a job. To get a job, you first got to have a resume. And uh, so uh, I have this document here that I will, uh, I will send it to everyone. Uh, normally a resume take a format, certainly it's your name and the address, contact information, okay, your name, contact information, up-to-date information about yourself, contact information. Uh, so that's this one here, resume checklist. Uh, original copy of resume. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you to uh, prepare your resume here. So your resume will have uh, your name, your name, and then your contact information, your address, your phone number, email. And then normally we put a, a objective, objective of the resume or summary or something like that, summary or objective on top of that. And basically this objective or summary, you use one or two sentence, one or two sentence to summarize your qualification and your intention. For example, some of the objectives says, okay, looking for a field engineer in a manufacturing settings. And uh, the qualif qualif qualification is that, uh, that my previous student uh, says, okay, I had one year internship with what a company and uh, expect to get a bachelor degree in manufacturing engineering technology uh, in May of 2019, something like that. So just one or two sentences. Your intention, your goal is to get a job, get what kind of job, and, uh, and then your qualification, one or two sentences, summarize your qualification, that's objective. And then the next section could be education. What education you are uh, you're in what program? Either it's a social degree program, bachelor degree program, and Missouri Western State University, um, engineering technology, expect the graduation date, degree that you're gonna expect. So that's education, education. Then is your experience, your experience, your work experience. Even your work experience is irrelevant to the job you are applying. Please list your work experience. Let's say you work in a restaurant or you work in a retail store. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You can be brief, just say, okay, I work there, that's what I do. And uh, let's say like uh, 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 2018, we had a female graduate. She works for Target, stocking the uh, uh, ladies' clothes, clothing department. She said, okay, I work at, uh, at Target, stocking ladies' uh, clothing department. That's good, that's good. Because you tell the recruiter your attitude towards work towards work, you are willing to work, you're willing to work. Okay, so experience, experience. If it's irrelevant, if it's irrelevant, you don't have to put that much detail. Okay, you don't, you don't say, okay, I stock this kind of uh, ladies' uh, pants, that kind of ladies' underwear, whatever. No, you don't, you don't do that. Just say, okay, stocking at Target, something like that. And that's enough. But it delivers the information to the recruiter that your attitude towards work, your attitude towards work. And certainly if you have some words or something proof that your working attitude 
and uh, your desire to be a good employee, you can list there, you can list there. Now, for many of us, for many of us, uh, don't have a lot of experience, don't have a lot to write, don't have a lot to write, then I would suggest you in the education or maybe skills, maybe another section like skills, technical skills, or course taken, make a section, course taken, what kind of course you take. You can list some of those technical courses over there. For example, computer added drafting and uh, um, strengths of materials. Um, uh, those courses, uh, mechanical design or in construction, you know the software uh, in the future in construction, for example, uh, scheduling, you see, uh, uh, um, estimating premier scheduling pinball line scheduling software and uh, design use the risa risa which is a software that doing design you list those names over there software names the reason that you list those costs is because nowadays a recruiter they're doing online advertising. They get a lots of resumes, tons of resumes. And many times they do a machine review, machine review. What is a machine review? The scan, the scan your resume in the computer. Then they have a software to match in the keywords with that software, with the job description, matching the keywords. Then they have a, gave an index called a relevance index, relevance index. Okay, the, the purely based on the machine scanning to uh, matching your resume with a job description, come up with a relevance index. If your keywords in your resume don't have a whole lot of those appealed in the job description, then your relevance index is very low. You wouldn't get selected. The first step, you will be uh, you'll be uh, you you you'll be unable to pass the first screening. So you got to pass the first screening. So that's the sections I would suggest you have, okay? First, you have an objective, then you have an education, then you have an experience, then you have a skills and the skills, technical skills, or course taken, course taken. That's a very good way because if you list those courses, a lot of keywords that is gonna match in the job description that is gonna match the job description. And you can, you can list a lot of costs, those technical costs over there. Uh, for example, in manufacturing, you can list uh, CNC machining, uh, PLC, program logic controllers. Uh, you list those that will match in the job description, will match in the job description. Okay, so people will know you have the knowledge, you have the knowledge. Uh, certainly for some of us, if you have a lot of experience, that's good, that's good. So um, another inter in important thing is that in our programs here at this department, we intentionally designed the curriculum to including an internship component in the curriculum. So by your uh, junior year or senior year, you will be uh, forced, almost forced, you must get an internship experience, get an internship experience. 
And certainly most of our internships are paid. But whether paid or not, you get an internship experience. That's really important for you to get a permanent job, to get a good job. Okay, to get a good job. So uh, this uh, resume here, uh, we wouldn't have a whole lot of uh, uh, homework assignment anymore, but today uh, I'm gonna ask you to do another assignment to prepare your resume. Okay, to prepare a resume, a copy of a resume and email me and you email me, okay? Uh, your resume, whatever you email me will be uh, kept confidential, will be kept confidential. I'm not gonna disclose your resume unless you told me to, unless you told me to. And also, uh, if you have difficulty uh, to, I just summarized the uh, uh, technicals, uh, techniques to make a good resume. If you have difficulty to prepare a resume, uh, the university has a career development center, which is a good resource that is free to all students. And you can use the service over there too. Ask them to help, help you with your resume. Uh, but normally, this resume in this format, your name, your contact information, and then objective or summary, education, work experience, skills or course taken. If you take this resume, uh, this format, normally they will do it. Uh, you're gonna make a good resume. You're gonna make a good resume, okay? Uh, but yes. yes. Do you have a question? Yeah, I so said, can you repeat the, the list of how you said it should be done? I will email you this document uh, after the video. Okay, I'll post on canvas this document. But the assignment is to have you prepare a resume and then email me, all right? Prepare a resume and then email me. You will, you will need it maybe next year or so after a couple of semesters. Uh, any, uh, is that clear? And certainly the Career Development Center has more resource They'll have, uh, uh, for example, mock the interview. They have mock the interview, and uh, they'll have a, a, a career fair, recruiting career fair. They organize those uh, every year, so they have more uh, resources over there to help you. Uh, but the very first thing is that you need to have a resume. Okay, you need to have a resume. Uh, so this, this week's assignment, prepare a resume, uh, no matter how brief it is, please do it and prepare a resume and email me. Uh, it's due next uh, Monday, due next Monday, okay? And um, due next Monday. Um, any uh, questions about that? Any questions? I'm gonna stop sharing the screen. I will email you this document too. I will email you this document. Even probably is a slight different from what I'm talking about, from what I, I have talked about. Uh, the format is a little bit different, but it, either, either format is gonna be okay. Okay, the format is gonna be okay. I'm gonna stop sharing the screen here. Uh, any questions? Is the assignment clear? It's due next Monday, okay? If you haven't finished previous assignments yet, please do it and email me. Please do it and email me. Uh, with that, if no more questions, I'm gonna end the session today. 
and I wish every one of us have a very good uh, have a very good uh, weekend uh, the rest of the week and um, if you plan to watch uh, the presidential debate tonight enjoy it all right all right thank you thank you you have a good one you too bye bye